I was uh, had just moved to Colorado, and I went to Estes Park, hanging out in the town, walking through the town with a friend of mine. And, of course, I was wearing my I Love Colt T-shirt. As I'm walking down the street, I, we walked past this couple. And as I walked past them, you know, the, the wife was uh, pushing a stroller. And I noticed the gentleman was wearing a yarmulke. And I get about two steps past them, you know, just walk past them. And all of a sudden, I hear the guy turn around and say, hey. Turned around, and I looked at him. He looks at me. He goes, what does your shirt mean? Now, keep in mind, this is probably the largest Jewish gentleman that I have seen this side of Goldberg, I just lost my mind for a second. I was like, oh, it, it means love. It means, see, it means love. I love Colt. He's a, he's a wrestler, Colt Cabana. And the guy just looks at me and he goes, you know, that's the star of David, right? And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. This Jewish wrestler, like he's super popular. He's a funny guy. He's got a podcast. You, you need to listen to him. And this guy just shook his head, walked away. His wife at no point in time did she try to intervene <laughs> to calm her husband down as they were pushing their stroller with their baby in it oh i had a smile on my face the whole time listening to that whereas i know you were terrified the whole time listening to that yeah that shirt first of all that shirt is a layup that's an obvious shirt it stems from i love new york but it's the jewish version and i'm not new york i'm colt but it's also polarizing for some weird way. Well, I know why weird. Jewish and Judaism, there's always a little something behind it. Inquisitive, allowed, are we allowed, is this allowed? I've heard so many stories over the years. And I'm glad that this caller called in a story because this is an example of microcosm of just like what my career has been of people coming to me and telling me that they wore this shirt to like a church outing or with their family after church or a big get together with their family who are all Christian, even some German fans wearing the shirt. And one of my favorite things, by the way, ever was going and touring Germany and selling the I star Colt shirt and the German fans buying it and loving it and wearing it like that would honestly get me emotional. I don't know if it would bring a tear to my eye, but it would get me emotional and it would make me so happy that sure, as a Jewish person, I have this like thing in the back of my head. I think I always will. It's just ingrained into a Jewish person's head. I, I think for the most part, at least I speak for myself and saying to myself, well, this is my number one popular shirt. I'm going to Germany. I can't not bring this shirt and then everyone buying it. To me, it was like a sign of love. Wrestling was a backdrop for this bigger thing that was love and acceptance, and it was wonderful. And this story is just as fun. It's one of many stories I've heard over the years. Also, as Jewish people, we're not the most intimidating crew on the block. So fun that this guy was, I don't know, standing up for our people? The total wrong way. The caller was like, one of us, one of us. Listen to his podcast. It was The Art of Wrestling. Now it's Wrestling Anonymous. Call in a story. You should call in this story. And maybe he will. But this guy already beat him to the punch. I Star Colt shirt available at ProWrestlingTees.com slash Colt Cabana. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly. Wherever you listen to your podcast, go subscribe. And while you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.